I forgot to ask. Is this episode 15? Yeah, it is episode 15. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do it again. <laughs> oh, it's okay. And one, two, ready, go. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 15 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. We've got uh, several cool things to touch on today, but we are going to keep it uh, kind of short today. And main reason why is because some of you right now, as we're recording this, are messaging me asking where your results are. Uh, I told you they'd hopefully be going out through the weekend, um, through today, Monday. Um, but uh, you all have, have come through and given us exactly what we asked for. We've got a lot more samples this time. Um, so... Uh, we had to scale up to be able to run as many samples as we were able to run, um, like on the, the bench side, being able to set up the, all of the tests. But now I'm having to scale up the analysis since we have so many samples coming in for new tests like, like Sunset and even some of the, the ones like DGA, DGB. This is the first time I'm doing, you know, hundreds of them at a time. And um, so I'm having to write some new programs, some new scripts to help me do that analysis in a manageable time. I used to, we had a, just a few on each run, so I could just click through and do them one by one. But for this run, I'm having to write re, write some new stuff. And then I've got to analyze samples I already know the answers for and make sure it works properly and tweak things until it's working right. So anyway, it's just taking some extra time because of all the, the uh, increased samples coming in and so thank you very much. I'm very happily working hard because this is what we want. And once I write these scripts uh, for each test, uh, then you know I can use them from then on. So I'll be even faster the next time. I won't have to write these new things, except for we'll announce that we do have, it looks like, two or three other tests that we'll be able to roll out over the next couple of, two or three weeks. So we've got more new stuff coming here real fast. And so that's going to be exciting as well. Um, so yeah, so I am working on results right now for, um, as you guys know, for the last couple of weeks, I've been promising. Um, so those will start getting um, posted and, and sent out today and tomorrow. Um, I hope I can have everything analyzed either late tonight or, or sometime in the morning tomorrow. And then when Sean has the, the uh, ability to get those in the clutch and morph market, then you all will be able to see them. Um, sorry, it's been a little longer, uh, but like I said, it's because uh, all of this interest and in where we have hundreds of samples for probably six or seven different tests, um, I just have to update and uh, get those new scripts so that I don't have to go through one by one and, and make calls. So, so anyway, thank you all, and uh, we will keep working hard and get those results to you as fast as we can. All right, Kayla, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited to hear about all these new tests that are coming up. Uh, and I know you've been working, you've been working like burning the candles at both a candle at both ends, trying to get this stuff out. So thank you. I speak for uh, all the folks who have even emailed me thanking you specifically for the work you do. So yeah, I've uh, been uh, not good at answering messages or being on on Facebook or uh, Instagram. Uh, well, actually, Instagram, Facebook, but YouTube. I haven't been in the YouTube comments in a little bit. So once you see me start commenting all those places again, you know, I finally got through everything. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So if he goes quiet, that's he's probably just buried in, in new samples. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So uh, and I hear you're also going to some shows here in the next month or so, right? Yes. Yep. Me to one and Sean to another. So the Reptile Super Show in Pomona in California. Um, I now know I'm going to be at Dark Cloud Reptiles table. Randy's really cool. has worked out a, a way for me to be able to have some table space. Um, so if you're oh, going to be at that show or if you're thinking about being at that show, now you got to come. Come and see us. Uh, we will have merch there. And uh, especially as you see there at the bottom, we've got some show exclusive RGI shirt designs that we'll have. So you all have been helpful in submitting ideas and Sean's been working on getting artwork 
commissioning people to help us get some some artwork to go along with the designs you all had and it's it none of them i don't think any of them have been decided on yet but uh, mm -hmm. we've made some good progress we've got some really cool cool looking ones and probably yeah. over the next few days we'll make decisions and get them ordered so so if you can be at the show you got to come get you get you a show only t-shirt yeah, and if you're not on the West Coast, you can also come to the East Coast when Sean is down there uh, just a week afterward uh, at the, that's the Daytona show. Um, so. Yes, we'll, yep. we'll Sean, Sean will have all the same merch and the show only t-shirts and let's come see him there. Yeah, and uh, I've seen some of the like mock-up designs so far. They look really, really cool. So uh they're, they're awesome. But if you can't make it to these shows, uh, we also have our regular merch store uh, where you have uh, your your RGI logos and uh, what your standard RGI logos and the, you know, like DNA test rep positive for reptile nerd, you know, <laughs> goofy stuff like that. Um, yes. Cap stickers, shirts of all different sizes and colors. Uh, so it's not all just in black. And of course, all of the proceeds from these goes to gen new genetic tests. So it, it it keeps Ben buried in samples, so it's <laughs> I'll good keep thing. ripping them out. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, what else we got, Ben? Uh, yes, meme of the week. Oh yes, meme of the week. Um, this one <laughs> appeared to me in a dream or something. Um, and uh, you know, I just thought that my my girl Clover, who looked like the greatest little Muppet ever, just <laughs> seemed like a good poster child for this. Um, yes. Yeah. So yeah. this is a, a Kayla exclusive. So sometimes you wonder who it is that actually made a meme. Well, this time, you know. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> most of the memes I think we've gotten from like uh, from our, our audience, actually. Yes. Yeah, and then I'm just like, first... dude, I'm going to yoink this. OK. <laughs> yes. With their permission, of course. And but yeah. If, if you ever have I any of you have ideas or even if it's one you see, you know, you can just send it to us how you saw it and give us, you know, the. The text you would change and Kayla knows how to do that kind of stuff so we can oh, yeah. have, get some more quality memes going. Yeah, if you got the concept, I can make I can make it for you. So thank goodness for meme generators online. Send them um, in. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, this is a story time for me. So this um, is continuing on the poop theme. On, for continuing on the poop thing. So once again, <laughs> featuring my rat snakes. This adorable little Western black rat snake is Chickadee. She is, uh, well, she's adorable. Just look at that face. However, um, this girl actually managed to have a $217 poop this week, uh, which I don't think any of many of us can say uh, we've produced ourselves. So uh, <laughs> what happened was Wednesday this past week, little girl... Uh, had a, a hard, rock hard lump in her belly, like not like probably maybe this far uh, away from her cloaca, and it felt like solid. I palpated it, and it was not moving. And usually, when you feel a rock hard mass somewhere, it's not very good news. Um, and so, you know, I waited a night, made sure she had plenty of water, like she has a soak dish she can fit her whole body in. Um, it was nice and fresh. And it still didn't pass while all the other rat snakes that had eaten on the same day hadn't uh, had passed, uh, had already defecated. So um, I'm like, OK, that's not good. Called up the vet that said, "Ooh, I don't like how that sounds. Go ahead and get her in. So I managed to get in that day, 2 p.m. And they take some x-rays of my girl. Um, and so here's the top view of little little chickadee and uh you know, you see this big black area. And so what the vet was telling me was that when you see black in an x-ray, you want to think it's gas, air of some kind. Um, and here's another view. And they didn't even have to sedate her for these pictures. She was a very good girl for the vet. Um, and uh, they were like, well, we can't really tell. So let's go in for another, another like a lateral view. And here you see a great picture of her butt. Um, and you see, you know, like it, the black mass, you see, uh, like some rat parts in there. And then all the way down to her cloaca to the left, you just see some sort of blockage. Now what they're telling me, the first two vets that we talked to about these, uh, these radiographs was they were concerned that there was a rupture inside there. Uh, they couldn't tell if that gas was still contained inside the bowel or if it was, 
it had ruptured and gone into the coelom, which would mean emergency surgery to prevent her from going septic. Um, now the third vet rolls in because they're sending this out to different people to get the opinions. Um, and the third vet says, actually, no, it's still contained in there. Uh, it's probably just a massive urate clump uh, blocking the way there. She's probably just a little dehydrated. Um, and so uh, we gave that a try, um, gave her some fluids. And while you're, while you're sweating bullets, I'm sure. Yeah, while we're sweating bullets. Um, and sure enough, that night she passed it just fine. It was a massive urate clump. <laughs> no lump. Completely gone. Two hundred seventeen dollars later, here is the girl in question, uh, laying on her dad's stomach, happy as a clam, uh, with n no no troubles whatsoever. So, <laughs> thanks, chickadee. Yeah, <laughs> Such a punk, but you know she's worth it. The peace of mind is great, but man. Yeah. <laughs> So that's that's even worse than pooping in your shed is making yourself look like you got a blockage. That's no good. Yes, it is. So a girl <laughs> managed to dehydrate herself with a, a perfectly good water dish two, two feet away. But she was in kind of coming out of blue, so maybe she didn't feel like moving. Which, hmm. okay, chickadee. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I think, uh, that, yeah, that might actually be all we have for today. Uh yeah, but yeah, yeah. in, in okay. the comments specifically, like we said, give us give us meme ideas, but also let us know any of the the tricks that your snakes have pulled to help your vet make money. Um, <laughs> yes, the please. That, uh, <laughs> the, probably the worst one I had, I was, I was telling Kayla earlier, the most stressful of the times I've had have been mm -hmm. females that I know need to lay and they go way past their lay date. I've oh, had yeah. uh, ball python females that should be laying, you know, around... 21 to 30 days i've had them go pretty close to 60. i don't know That's if i've stressful. had them actually get to day 60 but i know i've gotten over day 55 before oh my gosh and thankfully they've all ended up being okay the only problem i've had was with a carpet python that, yeah. that girl ended up having serious problems and ended oh. up passing away but poor little thing but yeah the things that your your animals pull to make you have long nights oh yes yes they do <laughs> so yeah uh, let us know in the comments and uh yeah, yeah let's so know. it's a quick one today but like i said i'm gonna get right back to analyzing so i can get results out to y'all today yeah all right well thank good good luck getting back to it ben and thank you guys for tuning in uh we'll catch you next week and uh see you in the comments outro in three two one